Hey everyone, uh, we have just been kind of sh shown, I guess, the, it's literally minute one of Epic 7x Overlord. Let's see what they announce. Hopefully they announce kits or show some things off, but let's just get, uh, I, I don't know, I'm too excited for this. Let's just, let's just see. Oh, oh okay, there he is, there he is. Wait, they look so good. Wait, they look so good. Please tell me this is how they look in game. Or at least for like splash art. Okay, okay, okay. Here they are. Ordeal of Nazarek. Oh, okay. The special check in, by the way, I think this is the 270. Oh my god, wait. Wait. Oh my god, they have a lobby for it too? That's so sick. <laughs> wait, what? An Aria E? <laughs> Wait, did they fix debuff shuffle? Wait, buff shuffling? That's so crazy. I know, like, we have the collab, but the buff shuffling thing is so important. You guys have no idea. <gasps> Ooh, the skin portrait for Briar, too. Oh my god, this, this update's huge. Okay, okay, okay. New side story. Oh my god, it has ball. Yeah, he's. Uh, is, am I crazy? Uh, what? What? Dude, wait, they made the Leafy, wait, 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 is this the Leafy event? But for the collab? Oh my god, wait, they made the Leafy event but for Overlord? Oh my god, they're, wow, they want to make money. Wait, his animation looks pretty good! Wait, that's so good! Wait... His in-game model looks so good! Oh! Okay, okay, okay! Okay, okay, so he is confirmed a, uh... I think this is a Virgo, right? He's a... Um, a dark 5-star mage Virgo? We'll probably see his kid after this, right? Surely, 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 surely. Ooh, the artifact? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, she looks so good! Wait! Oh! G Grass Knight is not what I would have expected. That's cool! I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain. She looks so good. Wait, she has like the Yandere face and everything too. Oh my god! Oh, she's coming with an artifact too! Oh, damn. Okay, night artifact. Wait, Shaltier! Wait, Shaltier's also looks so good! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, all of their animations are so high quality. And they all look good in game too. Warrior. Okay, okay, okay. So, so to be clear, I'm just gonna be the mage. Uh, Albedo's gonna be the knight. And then Shaltier, wait, was Shaltier fire? Is that what they- Fire, Fire Warrior, okay. Play during in the- Ooh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. So, so you do this- this game, and then you get Triple S Imprint of Eins. Okay, the collab special pack, also really good. Seven- Ooh, 70 wait, 77. Why is it- what? If it's 77, I wonder how it got data mine to be 200. This is a sick lobby, by the way. This is an insane lobby. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could just put me in the center right there, guys, where Eins is, and then, ha ha, I have my wife, Alvedo. Ha 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 ha. You guys can do the same, by the way. Just saying. <clears throat> oh, okay. And this is the Teyu EE. -E. Increase combat effect. Nope. Increase CR by another 15. Increase the skill cooldowns. What? What? Wait, so this skill three EE -E looks like it's the reverse, but why wouldn't you just... 
Interesting that I think this is the first time an EE has technically like taken away from the kit before, like for the first time. I'm assuming a lot of people are going to use something like the Azure Waves or like maybe they'll run counter with his skill one. But the skill three is kind of interesting. Of course, if you aren't familiar with why they did this, uh, they're trying to make this tornado sweep not give uh, Spectre Tenebria a reset. Ideally, right? You know, cause like, cause then you give her access to like her her multi hit S one, which is sometimes bad, but I don't, I don't know, weird EE. -E. Was it attack EE? -E? Yeah, I don't think uh, you're probably gonna use his skill two or like the skill two EE, -E, but I don't think that's enough to really make him that good, to be honest. Maybe with the the new Overlord characters, and then Arya in in Everest EE. -E? That's a little. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so good for her. At the start of the first battle, gain one focus. Um, I don't know if this matters typically. I mean, I guess it's fine technically. I'm I'm curious if the di I'm I'm not really sure which one is better here, because Arya traditionally does not use her skill three and then only gets off one hit. Usually you're able to get off Arya's skill 2 after she uses her skill 3 because, you know, she puts everyone into stealth. This is kind of a weird, interesting choice for Arya. I don't know. Maybe the skill 2 here thing is maybe to make it so you can, like, soul burn instantly and then... No, but then... Hmm, interesting. 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 I mean, no matter what, the, the increased effect resistance is really good. Rest in peace, I guess, to people that just wanted to play her full damage. But again, it is really nice. And again, even if you don't want to use these, this EE is really nice if you guys are doing the Wyvern 13 one shot with her. Uh, because again, you gain more damage on either the skill two or skill one. Completely up to you. Uh, equip. Okay, interesting equip all. Okay, I I'm assuming they're gonna fix the buff shuffling thing where like randomly if you're not familiar with the buff shuffling thing There's just a chance randomly between turns that the order of your buffs will shuffle it Sometimes it's a little bit easier to predict sometimes it's completely random and you just kind of get you know You just get messed up by it, and it's so bad Okay, they also in improved Or they added special missions for new players and the forge event. Okay, uh, by the way, if you're curious for like the Forge Epic gear, if you are a new player, I highly suggest either making a pair of boots uh, or maybe like either like a speed pair of like DPS boots, an effectiveness ring if you don't have any effectiveness rings, uh, an attack main ring if you also don't have one of them, or having something like a crit damage neck. And then for your left side, ideally, in my opinion, Outside of, again, if you already have these things, like you already have a perfect, like, attack ring, a perfect boot, whatever, for your left side, uh, and b for both your right side, as I mentioned, I would definitely recommend an attack ring, F ring, speed boot that has DPS subs, and then a, uh, a neck that has a crit damage attack, etc. Or, again, if you want, you can make something like a, a perfect neck for someone like Navy Captain Landy, who's arguably one of the strongest characters right now. But I would also see how the collaboration works before you actually choose any of these. But generally speaking, again, like the crit damage neck is fine. And then for left side, I would honestly say that the helmet is the most in difficult, I guess, uh, piece of gear to forge. So I would definitely fixate on that if you can. Oh, wait. they Oh, so they pushed it back. May 4th is when... World Arena season ends. <gasps> she looks great! Wait, she looks... Wait, she looks so good! Wait, she looks like straight out of an Isekai. You know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of the, um... Uh, from the Don... Ma I don't know if you, any of you guys have watched Don Machi, but she looks like... She looks like one of the... Uh, that, that, uh, I can't remember what her name is. The, the, like, the blonde, you know, female interest, you know, the super nighty. I, I really like the outfit. Wait, it looks really nice. It's like a very well-refined looking outfit. This looks a lot different from how she looks, too. This isn't, this isn't, you know, how it was in the past where, like, Meteor looks a little bit different or something. This is a very nice looking outfit. I like it. And then the UI improvements. Okay, whatever. Be who's coming up, Omega Lol. Ooh, Knockwall is big. Wait, Knockwall is big. This is April 11th? Okay. Okay, okay. And then Albedo's dropping on the 18th. And ML Paltis is on the 11th as well. So, wow, Knockwall and Paltis at the same time is crazy. 
Uh, but long story short, guys, wow, that was a lot of stuff that they just announced. They announced, again, like, they showed the characters off. Uh, they made, like, the big change for, like, the 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 buff event. They added the Lethe event back. Like, oh, hold on. We have to go take a look to see if they... Oh, my God. They did show them off. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, all right. Let's start with Ainz. Uh oh, oh, oh goodness, oh goodness gracious. Wait, he's ER in print? Ainz Ol Gon is a five star dark elemental mage. Oh no, he's a. And effect resistance and can increase his effect. Oh no, wait, oh, it's Taurus, it's not Virgo. Oh my god, is this a solid. The goal of all life is death. <laughs> At the start of someone's 12th turn, deals 50,000 fixed damage to the bearer. Dispose <laughs> all buffs from the enemy before silencing them. Hey, there's no way, bro. There's no way. This skill is unaffected by cooldown increase and decrease effects. 50,000 fixed. Bro, they are not for real, bro. That is so funny. They said screw it, bro. No end game, no end game baiting. Oh, it's single target. Okay. <laughs> Wait, increases damage suffered. Increases damage suffered from light enemies by 30%. When an ally is attacked, there's a 25% chance to activate mana barrier. Grants a barrier. Overlord oh, his S1 has to be crazy then, right? Suffered from the light elemental enemies by 30%. Wait, he has a negative... ...has up to a 35% chance to activate Mana Barrier. Mana Barrier grants a barrier to all allies. So he gives a barrier to all allies, and that's fine, and he, he's a counter attack mage? He's he's like Arya then, right? ...proportional to the caster's max health, and Mana Barrier can only be activated once every three turns. That is a sick animation, by the way. That's so cool. ...attacks all enemies with lightning. With a 25% oh, ew. to stun for one turn. Oh, if ew. Soul is consumed, grants an extra turn to the caster. I'll kill you. Ein's Ol Gon's artifact, Staff of Ein's Ol Gon. Wait, increases F and ER by... F wow, that is a lot. That is 60% stat. Wow. Okay, down to 40. Wow, 40 free stat on... Wow, this could be well. N mm, mm, if it's a counterattack, I'm not sure which artifact you would want. I don't know if you would want Ainz's staff. Ooh, this doesn't look that good. To be, I'm because uh, the thing is, like, if this were on someone, some other character, like a ranger, maybe you could. No, not even because you would want guiding. Light. I mean, it's a lot of free stat, but the issue is that there aren't that many mages in the game that you would actually want only 40 or only 20 effect resistance on or you know you would only you would want to split like you have to think of characters like maybe uh, you know maybe like sage ball but then even then sage ball gains 70 effect resistance with uh bastion of hope so it's when fully enhanced for lord side story starting april 18th okay so we have to do the side story on the 18th hold on Let's see, wait, am I not, if, if I'm not mistaken, he has a, please, you're probably please. just going to use like Abyssal Crown on him. Behold. Or you would use like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if Fairy Tail works here. I think Fairy Tail is actually for extra attack, so I don't know if it would work. Maybe you. I mean, he does just have like this undispellable 12 turn, like. Hold on, let's see. Is it 12 turns taken total? Oh, it's... Wait, it's 12 turns. It's not even... Okay, I was thinking like... Okay, 12 turns sounds a little bit crazy. It's 12 total turns from the entire cast. So if you take extra turns or if Ein soul burns, you increase the timer? Wow, and you can stun? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this is game changing. Oh my god, and he does set up Spez pretty well. 
Oh my god, another stun! Wait, that's... Uh-oh. Wow, he is such a good... Wait, that has got to be a crazy utility, right? Wow, 12 turns actually is not that many turns if you think about it, if you're playing slow versus slow. 11. Probably looking for the stun. That's the 12th turn. That's so cool! Okay, so she, so he's definitely designed to just one-shot like all the Abyssal Yufin teams, right? Like, that's literally what he's made for. Okay, let's go to Shaltir, because I want to save my wife for last. Okay, Ainz is really interesting, by the way, just to kind of give you context for why I'm so excited for that. Now you can't really stall that hard. Like, you know, you think that a character like, you know, Abyssal Yufin or Navy Captain Landy has the stalling. Dude, this is a free character that does 50,000 damage and just eliminates someone off the board after 12 turns are taken. You can't just survive forever, forever with these characters, right? You have to revive or something. Overall, sorry, I, I didn't mean to, because we have so many characters to get through, but overall, that is a sick, sick, sick character. He looks really, really good. That is crazy. He's he's like Solitaria. If Solitaria had like a had like an Abyssal Yufin ultimate, you know, kind of like timer, basically. Okay. Shaltier is a five star fire. Holy moly, she's player. fast. She has high attack and critical. Oh my god, she's Crichan's imprint. Oh no. Oh no. Damage suffered in one term cannot exceed 70% of max out. Then start a turn when the Oh my god, she's a teaser and rat character. Oh no. Dude, a stealthing warrior. What season are we in? Self-attack buff is nice because you don't need Benny Morrow's Tachi, right? The spells all buffs from... Dude, why even have buffs in nowadays in Epic 7, by the way? Uh, Increases... <laughs> What? What? Ignores ER of any targets with attack lower than the caster's attack. What? <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey. Bye, Aiden. Bye, Aiden. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye, Aiden. See ya. I knew they were going to showcase her. Bye, Aiden. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. Yep, of course. It does 25,000. Of course. Summons different familiars to attack the enemy. She what wait wait wait, wait 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 okay okay so let me get this straight so she's like Zahak but better in every way is also you know like an overlord you know a collaboration character has higher hit chance gives herself an attack buff without having to use a non-attack but also can't that they just power crept Zahak basically okay of course now she doesn't give attack buff or like cleanse to her ally but like <laughs> Man, what? The, well, this is a must-build character, guys. Congratulations. Not like you guys weren't going to pull for Shaltier anyways, but... <laughs> you know what would be so funny? You would... Okay, like, people are going to be like, Oh, well, what if she gets debuffed? You're just going to use... You're just going to use Lia's Artifact on her. Hey, hey, congratulations to those of you if you pulled for, for Lia's Artifact, but if she gets debuffed, she's just going to use that. And again, she can't drop below 60%, so like, wow, Pog. But also, 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 just as a heads up, I bet you that this artifact is probably going to cleanse yourself. I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to bet right now that our artifact is going to cleanse yourself or something. Shaltier's artifact. Oh no. A divine class lance, which serves. <laughs> okay, well I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. It resembles a giant. Wait, when attacking with a single attack, increases damage by twenty percent and absorbs. Whoa, so it's like Sigurd's. Sigurd's front it's golden rose front loaded golden rose but for a single attack and you don't so so it's like so now you have three artifacts you have Sigurd's scythe which is like when you're below a certain amount you gain more attack which then lets you heal more in addition because you know you have like the scaling of things you have golden rose which splits the two and now you have pipette lance 
which you could use if you're a single target, like attacking warrior. So this is like for front ended. I'm assuming that I'm assuming that people that want to play stuff like Apoc Ravi or uh, like Ed and stuff like this, you would just end up using Pipette Lance if you're like running, you know, Ed on injury and stuff like that. Otherwise, you know, it's increased damage and you get it at the front end. It's like you're on Lifesteal set without being on Lifesteal set. That being said, Tigrid also has good value. When attacking with a single attack, increases damage dealt by a It is it is a collab artifact though, obviously. <laughs> so damage dealt is health. This is a sick skill though. A true vampire. Wow, it looks like it's gonna do a load of damage too. Um okay, to be fair. To be fair, to be fair, to- Oh my god, wait, I just realized, wait, she dispels before she S3, doesn't she? Oh my god, she dispels before she S3s? This is insane. So you can't even, you can't even Navy Captain protect your Aiden anymore. This is like Gala, actually, or it's kind of like Gala, basically, or like the best of like Zahak and Gala. It doesn't ignore mitigation, though, interestingly. Not that you would really need to. If you land, you land, right? Wait, am I crazy? Is this arrow wall just not on? Oh, we stripped it. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Conqueror Lilius got stripped. Conqueror Lilius stripped it. Okay, her S1 damage doesn't look incredible. But she's going into stealth, right? Okay, okay, okay. Long story short, okay, they're not- they're, They only showed one fight, I'm sure. But the whole point of Shaltier here is not to kill the Navy Captain Landy. That's what Biblis is here for. But, hey, we got another answer to Aiden. If you've been looking for an answer to Aiden, well, there you go. And even if, you know, someone ends up pairing it with someone like uh, Blue Shoe or Navy Captain Landy, you got your answer. All right, all right, all right. This is what I've been waiting for. Okay, now, again, a lot of the evasion characters, to be clear about the last one, no one can dodge Shaltier. It's 100%, right? So even if... Even if, you know, Fat Cat is picked or something, there's a 100% chance for you to land, right? And again, in terms of her artifact, you could probably run something like a Runkas 2 if you really want to guarantee it, which is 120%. And there's no way anyone can dodge you. Even if Remnant, you know, even if Aiden is given, a, you know, a, an evasion buff, I think if you have, uh, you know, a, a hit chance artifact, you can even hit Aiden with an evasion buff on her, which is impossible or like mostly impossible to get. And her evasion and Moonlight Dreamblade or any of the other evasion things. So that's like true, true guaranteed to land uh, kind of behavior. But anyways, let's let, let's take a look at Albedo. I think that Shaltier is going to be really, really good, especially if you're a new player for dealing with Aiden and stuff like that. Let's get into it. Such a sick animation. I love her. Uh oh, another ER. Another ER knight. Albedo is a five star earth elemental. Okay, so she's like 104 speed Sagittarius. She has high health and can increase her health further through her imprint. I have a feeling she's gonna be like a Yulha Knight Nuker. Cause those are like the most interesting. Rage of Nazareth. S3 75 Okay, literally just if I'm not mistaken, every single character that they've released or that they've shown from this collab dispels all debuffs or dispels all buffs on their skill three. Unbuffable and death break on one turn. That is insane. <laughs> all right, well, well, you know, <laughs> well, it's all okay. Well, so the S3 right now kind of looks like so this is kind of looking like a it kind of looks like wait it kind of does some good damage actually sorry i'm trying to think of what the abigail that's who it looks like abigail's s3 when an ally suffers a uh, it did pretty good damage too just based off of that right it's what this was against abyssal euphine and it did 6.2k that's pretty good on a crit it did crit though i, I don't know if she's going to be a crit character when an ally suffers a uh Oh my god, she's literally... She's Carmen. Or she has Carmen mitigation built into her kit. Okay. When an ally except for the caster suffers a critical hit, counterattacks with Let's Go Beacorn. Attacks all enemies, dispelling one buff before increasing the speed for two turns. Skill two. 
Aegis unfold. Huh. <laughs> okay, well, uh, first pick Albedo. Ha 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 ha. Yuffie and Abigail. Laya. Ha ha But now instead of Yuffie or instead of uh, Carmen, you, you just run Albedo. Ha ha ha. Attacks all enemies, dispelling one buff before increasing speed of the caster for two turns. Hmm. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health and can only be activated once every two turns. When more than one damage reduction. That's so funny! Wait, there's literally just a horse? What the? Skill one. No need for words. Attacks the enemy with a bardiche before increasing combat readiness of the caster by up to 20%. She has drink on her S1? The caster's max health. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. Wait, how much damage did that do? I'm not a deaf broken target though, right? So it did 9.5 on a deaf break. That's not the greatest, I would say. But it is. She's supposed to be Carmen, right? Oh my god. There's Night Drink again? Oh my god. They inch so now there's Defense Drink for Knights. There's, there's Attack Drink for Knights. And there's... HP drink for now. Oh my god, Albedo's artifact is gonna is so well actually. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, so they literally so so Smallgate added a Lethe event. They add a Lethe Summerside story where you got to like pull for infinite gear. They added Night Drink, which is like, you know, everyone loves uh or everyone was like super fanatical over or over Senya's artifact getting that maxed. They added Golden Rose, like, you know, a similar Golden Rose to Warriors, which is, like, one of the most sought-after artifacts. Oh, my God. They've got us good, boys. <laughs> they got us good. They got us. Hey, hey. Hey, if there, were, if there were a month for us to go $10 million, it's this month, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I'm not gonna take a look at the knight because like that's that is what it is. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything else from them This is an ins absolutely bonkers update guys like sincerely they they changed so many things Let me see is oh is there a whole new event tab for it? 28 minutes ago Is that it? No, no, no other general news Okay, I guess I I don't really know what's going on with like the the posting of things. By the way, I don't I don't know. It's I don't know why they don't post things like that. Whatever. If it's just a video, that's fine. But long story short, guys. Uh, what can I say? The characters look absolute. Wait. Oh, this is just forty six seconds. Long story short, guys. Um, the characters look great. Uh, all of the animations, in my opinion, are very well done. Uh, they feel very reminiscent of the again of the anime. Ainz looks insane. Uh, in terms of stopping slow, slow, slow players. Uh, originally, I thought it, he had to take like 12 turns or something, which is ridiculous. But it's just 12 turns total. So if you have a fast composition, you pair, you know, speed units with Ainz or anyone that can even, you know, just take extra turns. He looks crazy. Albedo looks like she's trying to kind of replace, um, you know, someone like Carmen or kind of take her slot. Uh, but ultimately, everyone's going to be using her for or pulling for her for her artifact because... Well, now every character in the game is probably just going to use some form of, you know, I don't know, like some extra HP health drink thing. That's insane. And then Shaltir now eliminates Aiden off the face of the planet. Anyways, though, guys, uh, that's basically the patch. Again, long story short, if I had to rate this patch, I'm going to say it. it. This is a 10. This is what Epic 7 needed. I know a lot of you guys will say that, oh, well, Overlord wasn't the right collab or whatever. But Lethe Event is back. Uh, E7, you know, added their Forge event. They they are fixing some of the in-game aspects, and then the characters look great. I hate to say it, guys, but E7 might be kind of might be kind of coming. They might be cooking. It might be the era of E7. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to check out the rest of my socials. Thanks again for watching. If you've been supporting all the content, uh, make sure to like, comment, turn the notification bell, and subscribe. Uh, I am I can't go to sleep after this. I'm just gonna be talking about this. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Good night.